Hi, this is first chapter Friday. I hope you are doing well and you had a wonderful uh, Valentine's Day and we all survived the snowstorm and hopefully March will bring much nicer weather and warmer weather. Today's uh, chapter book is Lolo series and uh, book one is Here Comes Lolo. Okay. Author's name is Nikki Daly, and he lives in South Africa. And um, this book is done by him, both um, illustration and then writing part. Right? And uh, publisher is Crystal Press. Chapter one. A gold star and kiss for Lolo. Friday was always the big day of the star awards. So far, Lolo had earned a yellow star for her math sums, a red star for her neat writing, and blue star for clean hands. Green stars were for helping Mrs. McKinsey carry her big bag from her car to the classroom. And gold stars were for reading. Gold stars rocked. Stars were always awarded just before the school bell rang at the end of the day. When everyone rushed out to meet their moms, dads, and grannies, or aunts in the playground, everyone except Lolo who lived close by and could walk home. Lolo lived with her mama at the back of her gogo's dressmaking shop. Next page. Friday. Fridays were also great because Lolo got money to buy a treat on her way home. And this Friday was an extra lucky day because Lolo reached the car park just in time to help Mrs. McKinsey carry her big bag to the classroom. Maybe she'd win a green star, although a gold star for reading would be better, of course. Lately, Lolo had made a special effort with her reading, to read with expression, to pause after comma, and to stop at the full stop to catch her breath. Brandon, who our children called greedy eyes, because he devoured so many books, was the best reader. Lolo helped Mrs. McKenzie hand out worksheet. Friday's worksheet was all about time, which was going far too slowly for Lolo. If only she could make all the hands on the clock spin and stop at star hour time. Yeah. Music class. During music, Lolo couldn't wait for the last line of the new song to end. Waiting for the star hours was painful. The final part of the school day was free time. So Lolo decided to read. And while she read first one book, then another, and another. She forgot all about time. By the time she had added the titles to her reading list, Mrs. McKenzie was ready to announce the star winners. Her classmates, Shane, Dapalang, and Kone got yellow stars, gift, Aidan, Cleo, and Katie got red stars. 
Lucy got the green star, and Dana Rose, who had managed to wash green glitter off her fingers during break, got the blue star. Then Lolo had her name being called. Lolo and Brandon announced Mrs. Mackenzie, looking through the reading list. Brandon had read five books. Lolo had read six. She felt like、oh, melting with happiness as Mrs. Mackenzie placed gold star on her forehead. Rang rang went the school bell. Lolo raced through the school gate. She couldn't wait to show Mama and Gogo her gold star. When she reached Mrs. Ishmael's spicy donut stand, her face was hot from running. Mrs. Ishmael's little daughter Sharifa was pretending to be a shopkeeper. She handed Lolo a spicy donut in a paper bag and smiled sweetly. Thank you," said Lolo and sped off. Hmm? Uh, take a look. This. You know, what's something happening here? Can you see? Is a gold star on her forehead? Mama, go go! She called, bursting through the front door. Look what I got! Gogo looked up from her sewing, and Mama peeped around the corner. Molo Lolo, they said. Hello, how was school? Look, said Lolo. Mama and Gogo looked while Lolo pointed to her forehead. Look at what? Lolo asked Gogo. My gold star, said Lolo impatiently. What gold star? Asked Mama. The next page here. This one said Lolo, running a finger across for forehead, but all she felt was smooth skin. The gold star had gone. Lolo burst into tears as she explained how. She had received a gold star for reading. Where did you have it last? Asked Mama. At, at school, replied Lolo. And what did you do after school? Asked Gogo. In tears, Lolo went over her route from school. Well, it's only a paper star, said Mama. But it wasn't. It was a very special. Gold star. Dry your tears. We'll go and look for your gold star," said Gogo. Gogo helped Lolo retrace her steps round the corner and along the road back to school. And there, at Mrs. Ishmael's donut stand, they found Lolo's. Gold star stuck to the forehead of Mrs. Ishmael's little girl. Remember her?、Mm -hmm. right. When Mrs. Ishmael heard Lolo's sad story, she said, "Sharifa, darling, that gold star you picked up belongs to Lolo." But little Sharifa had fallen in love with Lolo's gold star, and when Mrs. Ishmael tried to remove it, Sharifa screamed so loudly that people thought something terrible was happening. Ogo turned to Lolo. Sharifa's too small to understand what is fair, but you are old enough to be thoughtful. Let her keep your gold star, she said. Lolo thought for a while. The corners of the gold star 
had curled up, and it looked as if it were about to fall off again. Okay, said Lolo. Sharifa can keep it. But inside, she still felt sad. Gold stars were not that easy to win. Then at bedtime, Gogo brought Lolo something special. She had made a glittery gold star on a hair clip. Let's take a look. That's for being such a great, good reader, said Gogo. Then she kissed Lolo on the forehead and whispered, and that's for being such a kind, thoughtful girl. Lolo touched her forehead and thought a little more as she drifted off to sleep. All the stars get curly corners and fall off, but kisses last forever. That's the end of the chapter one. Okay? If you like to continue to read, please check it out. Right? That's a good book. So I like to show you a few titles. Okay? And very easy. That easy chapter book. They are all from um, see the paperback section. Okay? Let's see. Ella and Owen, that's Ella and Owen, they are twin dragons. They do funny things and the illustrations are so, so cute. Yes. Okay. Let's see something. Is it very easy read? Okay. Very good. So if you like dragon and funny adventures, this is a book. Okay. Next one is, I love this, Fault Builders. Okay. Actually, the children have business to build fort. Okay. And um, in order to build fort, you have to use science. Okay. So if you, you love science, this is it. Not only to learn science, but also to enjoy the story itself. Not only that, in the end, there is a word list. Okay. And each um, difficult word that explains there's a meaning, pronunciation. So it's really good. Okay. And, oh, I have to show you the print. It's is so big. Okay. Very easy. Okay. And not only that, after you read, there are questions. Okay. So you can answer this. And one more. It says here, STEAM activities. And this shows you how to build a draw bridge. Right? STEM means science, technology, engineering, and math. Okay. So all concept is there, right? The ideas. All right. So um, I am sure you enjoy. So if you like science, you are interested to build something, okay, especially this one is a fort. Okay. This is our one. Okay. Check it out. Right. One more I'd like to show it to you. Heidi Heckelbeck. Okay. Um, we have this series for some, for some time, okay? And um, inside, look at this, it's really large print, easy to read, okay? Um, this, this is number one. This involves in, um, something happening at school, and then she comes up with some good ideas to deal with the problem, okay? So very good, okay. Heidi Hecklebeck. All right. So, uh, if you are interested um, reading books, of course you are, and you like to reserve, just give us a call. All right. We can reserve them for you, or if we have access 
the computer, then you can do it at home. Okay. But if you have a questions, you can always call us. We are for you. Okay. So give us a call. Okay. So thank you very much for joining me today. And I will see you next time. Okay. So stay safe and happy reading. Bye bye.